Hi, my name is Dennis Carmody. I am a research coordinator at the Duke University School of Medicine. And I want to talk to you today about mindfulness and mindfulness-based stress reduction. Mindfulness is a quality that we all have. It's the ability to bring awareness to, to the present moment without judgment and with acceptance. Now, mindfulness can be brought to almost any situation throughout the day, uh, whether it be while you're taking a shower, uh, while you're eating a meal, uh, having a conversation, driving your car, whatever the case may be, you can bring mindfulness to that situation. For example, uh, when you're eating a meal, uh, can you feel the food in your mouth as you're chewing it? Can you feel all the textures, uh, taste all the flavors, and feel it as it is going uh, down your throat and into your stomach? Now, mindfulness has been shown to be effective in coping with a variety of different uh, health conditions. For example, chronic pain, difficulty sleeping, uh, high blood pressure, and also the two conditions that I want to talk about a little bit more today, uh, anxiety and depression. Now, how can mindfulness be used to help cope with anxiety and depression? Well, since mindfulness is uh, the ability to bring awareness to your present moment, uh, you can use that to observe uh, your negative thoughts and feelings, feelings of worthlessness and guilt, uh, in the case of depression, or worries about what tomorrow might bring in the case of anxiety. And can you observe these thoughts and feelings uh, without judging these, these thoughts and feelings? Now, um, the best way and one of the only ways to really increase your mindfulness is through the practice of meditation. Uh, meditation involves a focused concentration uh, to your internal and your external environment. Uh, one of the key meditation practices, one of the key fundamental meditation practices is uh, awareness of breath meditation. Uh, and it involves really noticing and observing the breathing process uh, from when air enters your nostrils, uh, can you feel the cool air entering through your nostrils? Uh, can you feel your chest and your abdomen rising and falling, expanding and contracting? And finally, can you feel the breath as it exits from your mouth? Now, there are a couple of ways that you can learn uh, more about mindfulness. Uh, you can go online and search for any mindfulness-based stress reduction programs that might be available at medical centers near you. You can refer to a clinical psychologist who may be trained uh, in mindfulness. There are also a lot of resources available online as well to practice meditation. There are several books. Uh, you can even go on iTunes and download some, some meditation practices on there as well. Um, and uh, there may be, um, like I said earlier, some, some, some places near you where you can uh, practice meditation more um, at some meditation temples or again at a MBSR program near you. Uh, 
Well, I want to thank you very much for your time. Uh, I hope this was helpful for you. And uh, take care. Thank you.